hello and welcome back if you're new here hi happy to have you so I just wanted to come on real quick and talk to you guys about how to manifest through gratuity the right way just a few key points that I've realized from conversations with people or as just humans we tend to be thankful for things that we have that others lack or what we perceive is lack in their life and I am here to tell you that is something that you want to avoid. That's not making your manifestation happen any faster. That's not even considered gratuity. It just creates a roadblock and it's just in the way. So when you're being thankful, be thankful without comparison. Don't be thankful that you're not someone on the corner who's asking for money because you don't know their story. This is just your perception of their lack. Right now they're in a situation and you know that your current situation is not your final destination. So don't perceive that as being someone else's. If you are being grateful for anything that has anything to do with someone else, it should be that you are grateful and full and happy and thankful that you could be a blessing to that person at that time. So just to run that back, Gratuity involves no comparisons. When you say thank you, you're saying thank you for the things in your life. In my gratuity journal, I write every morning, I write, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my valleys. I'm, thank you for, I'm thankful for my ignorance. I'm thankful for my weakness. I'm thankful for everything that has gone wrong. I'm thankful you for my struggles. I am so thankful for those things because in turn, I can say I am thankful for the things that they brought me, which is my wisdom, my strength my resilience, my will, like it's just, I'm just so full just thinking about the things that I am grateful for and they have nothing to do with anyone else. So I'm not comparing myself to anyone else and I'm saying thank you for the things that happened in my life and that I've went through and that I'm experiencing today and I'll probably experience tomorrow but every day I start my day off by just saying thank you. I am so full for the things that I have in my life. And to others, it might seem like I'm lacking. But that is that don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> it has nothing to do with me. How someone else perceives my blessings and my journey and the way the, the things that I am grateful for is none of my business. So you don't want to compare yourself to others. You, you really want to leave that out of your gratuity. Sometimes there's times where you feel like you're just lacking and... You don't know where your next dime is coming from or you start to develop this scarcity mindset and you start to feel like you're just stuck. In those times, that's when you want to say thank you. You want to say thank you for this moment. I am so thankful for this moment. I am so thank you, thankful for the confusion that I'm feeling right now. Because as God's promise, after the storm, the, the, the sun has to come. The storm can't last forever. So you have to be thankful that after this confusion will come wisdom. And it's not just wisdom for you. It's wisdom you can spread to other people. So you want to try to keep those things in mind. And you manifest through the things that you and your heart are grateful for. And you and your heart are full of. And you speak things into existence. I'm grateful for my course taking off. I'm grateful for all the people that I have reached and impacted their life in one way or another. Those are things that I am grateful for. That's how I perceive my gratuity. Now, have they happened yet? I don't know. I can't see them, but that's faith. And it's I understand that it's hard to walk out on faith because let's be honest with ourselves and each other. When was the last time you just went to a completely foreign place? You didn't know anyone, anything, completely nothing you didn't know the terrain and you just put a blindfold on and walked right through it now that is strong faith i have the faith of a mustard seed which is, is enough i know with my god it is enough but that's something that is difficult to do just talking about it gives me anxiety but i know that after i walk through this faith there will be so much that I'm going to be able to be grateful for. There'll be so much that I've manifested in my life just walking by faith and just being so grateful for the things that I have, tangible and intangible. I am so thankful for my ignorance. I am so thankful for the things that I don't know because I know once I travel through this journey, on the other end, I will know so much more. So be thankful for where you are in this moment. Be thankful for what you have, both tangible and intangible. Be thankful for your valleys. Be thankful for your peaks. Be thankful for your storms. Be thankful for your sunshine. Be thankful for your abundance and whatever that looks like. Be thankful for the areas that you think you're lacking in. 
but you don't really want to focus on those areas because that won't be forever but just be thankful for everything that you have in your life because it matters it matters so much that you're thankful so the real real truth about gratuity is it's just about you saying thank you it's just about you being grateful it's not about you comparing yourself to someone else and what they don't have or what you think they don't have it's not about i'm grateful for the food in my fridge because there's people who are starving it's not about i'm grateful that i woke up this morning because there's people who died last night it's not about i'm grateful for you know the small apartment or whatever have you that i do have because there's people who are homeless that's not real gratuity you are comparing yourself step away from comparison when you are being grateful if you're grateful for the food in your house then thank you god for giving me this food and let it be nourishment to my body that's it if you're grateful for your home thank you god for putting this roof over my head and letting me sustain it if you're grateful for anything that you have in your life just say thank you avoid the comparison and just say thank you so i am doing some free strategy session calls um i think that a lot of people would benefit from them but so i'll put that in the description box below but in all honesty guys the next time you say thank you say thank you for the things that are going good bad up down ugly beautiful in your life and don't compare yourself to others because that's just creating a roadblock the universe doesn't hear that you're thankful you're not them the universe just hears i'm not them god i'm you know i can't speak for him but i think that it's hard to perceive that you're thankful for someone and we're all god's children so how can you tell him that you're thankful that you're not that child of his like i'm thankful to be your child but i'm thankful i'm not that child so I know I keep saying it and I'll cut the video short here, but just make sure that you're grateful for the things in your life because you are genuinely grateful. So keep that in mind the next time you say thank you. And that was just a quick tip on how to manifest your gratuity quicker.